All right, let's see how much time I have. Uh, this is Seminole, not bad. Um, I'm waiting to get inside, so I figured I'd do the outside real quick for you. Pavers all the way up. Um, you know, nice little patio space here. Side entrance. This kind of limits, they put this huge step here, kind of limits your driveway, but you could get around it, but you just have to be very careful. Uh, detached one car garage. Roof from the ground looks okay, but you know, we'd have to have an inspector. AC looks newer, which is good. Uh, small yard, nice deck. Quick pressure washer on this deck, it would look really nice. Um, and then the small yard and then side yard. Uh, this tree probably would have to come out at some point, um, just because it's dead. Have somebody come cut it down, a couple hundred bucks for that. Um, but around the side yard here, that tree there, I would suggest it have to come out because the roots are going to go right in the foundation. So um, that's that. I'm going to pause you now as we go back in until I can get inside real quick, okay? All right, so now we're back inside the home. Uh, good size living space here. And then you walk over this way. You know, they got crown moldings, couple color changes. Nice kitchen. Very open. Uh, all the appliances are here, which is nice. A big hood cook vent there. Cabinets are newer. So you got an oven with a cooktop. Again, the, the vent. Excuse me, granite countertops or stone countertops, dishwasher. Excuse me. You got a microwave and fridge. Um, I don't open fridges because they get stinky sometimes, so that one might be stinky, it might be okay. Here's your side door entrance. Newer electrical panel, so that's good. Um, again, crown, crown moldings, pod lights. Um, so, little repair here on the ceiling you can see there's a slight color change um, that's not the concern this is the concern here is ceiling water there's a dip in it too so um, that would have to be addressed uh, probably shouldn't be too expensive but definitely if something needs to be addressed it's gonna have to be pulled down and replaced uh, then the roof's gonna have to be checked large master you know, got a good size closet here. And then you've got, you know, enough space for a king size bed. You know, your TV on that wall. Again, crown moldings in here. Really nice master bath. You got dual vanities. You need mirrors, but, you know, we can buy some mirrors. That's no big deal. Big walk in shower. Another vanity, replace the door, 20 bucks for a new door. A cable outlet up there for some reason. Which I'm assuming is just to have a TV in here for when you're getting ready. Windows have been replaced, so those are newer at some point recently. Uh, I'm assuming this is an office room because of all the wood. Could easily be another bedroom. Uh, the wood can come down, I'm assuming there's just drywall behind it, but uh, that'd be up to you to make that decision. Another California closet, no, it's hard to see in there, but good size. You know, this one's narrow, uh, which is why it'd be a good office. You could put a bed in here, um, and then, you know, maybe a, a desk on this wall and TV on this wall. So uh, here you have your neighbors, but you do have blinds. You have your washer and dryer inside, which is nice. And then they're here. Um, <clears throat> we've done some plumbing work, which is good. Here's the secondary bath pedestal. Window was broke out. Um, I don't know if you can see right there. So the glass would obviously need to be replaced. Um, could just be the upper thing, but this is in really good shape as far as the bathroom's concerned. It's not too dirty. Um, and then the last third bedroom, which is just a giant square. Um, and then, you know, some drywall repair here. But um, that's not that big a deal. It's just they had to get to the plumbing behind it. 
you know, what the concern is, what's behind that. Um, but the ceiling's okay in here. So besides location, which is iffy, and this, this area here for the staining, um, the house is in pretty good shape. So come do a drive-by, let me know what you think, and uh, we can go from there. Thanks.